folks, welcome back to the OK Kite Border. And after a couple of months off of the water, I get to join up with now local Lake Hefner legend, Daniel the Mayor Nicholson, and let him show us how to recreate his two-in-one wing harness invention named the Lazy Winger. So let's get to it. Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk about the Lazy Winger. Just makes it so easy. And uh, I agree, it has uh, made winging a lot more easy to endure on those big days. Uh, to start out, who this is for and who it's not. Who it's for is the okay winger, like me. <laughs> I'm a basic winging guy. I have my bigger board and my smaller board and I like to ride some waves and do some little jumps and uh, tack here or there, but I don't do any flips or anything crazy like that. Probably never will, but what I like to do is cruise around and do a lot of jumping and a lot of riding the waves and I like to keep on doing it and I hate to come in because I'm tired. Uh, it's kind of what it is is a totally hooked in winging. As you can see in the video, you, you can change directions and still remain hooked in. And you can jump and still remain hooked in. So the nice part is you don't have to hook in and out. The hard part is actually getting hooked in when you're first starting. Um, the people that have used it have found it a little challenging, and I did too, to initially um, get the little ball hooked in the hoop. And that is the key to this system, is the ball and the hoop. And initially I was looking at different harnesses and different ways to adjust the length and all of that, thinking that there was one magical way. And what I've decided is there's lots of ways. And depending on uh, what your preferences are, you can build it. You can build it using the things you have around. That's what I did. Or go to your local kite shop and uh, find some stuff. So let's start with the one that I use all the time, which is this one. I started with an old kite boarding harness and I took off the lines that it had attached on it and I added in my own. Here I just bought a roll of webbing and I made my own webbing to go across. So on the front uh, I have an adjustment here where it's basically a webbing adjustment and I added in my own webbing across the center. And then I added a webbing here and sewed in a um, little slider. And then up here, I went and I used an old Cabrina uh, adjuster that they had on their old kites. From, um, but this is the real key right here, is this ball and this webbing. This webbing attaches to kind of the center, the balance point of your wing, wherever it's balanced, where you can let go with the front hand and it tips back just a little bit and balances itself. That's the key to making sure that the lazy winger works right. If you have it too far forward or too far back, it's not very um, good. It doesn't work all that well. But hooking in and out here, what you have like this, is just your safety line. So the nice thing about the Lazy Winger harness, it's just also your leash. So it does two jobs. So when you're riding unhooked, it looks just like that. And then this piece here is attached to, like I said, the center handle. And then when you're ready to hook in, you just hook this in like that. And you can see in the video, no matter how much you pump and jump, it doesn't come unhooked. That's the magic of it, is it stays hooked in even when it's slacked. Unlike a traditional harness that once it slacks, it, it falls out. But the very nice thing is, you just barely push it and it pops free, as you can see in the videos. It's real easy to get unhooked. I've also made some other additions. Like I said, there's lots of ways to do it. Another one, I took an old waist harness and I um, went in and made some buckles here just tied a knot around with a rope. So I can adjust the length of the rope by just pulling in and out on this buckle. And um, 
then it slides. That's the other nice thing too, is having a slider. You want it to slide for it to work well. And then um, this is actually an old RRD D power from probably uh, 2002. <laughs> so um, this little hook here that goes in, around your um, grab handle is also leftover kiting stuff from years back. This is an old Cabrina. You can see here, it doesn't really matter what kind of attachment you have there. And same thing here, this uses a, um, a coil leash, works just fine. You just have to make sure and have some spinner in it somewhere. Where this one, I had the big spinner, which I found to really be unnecessary now. Unless you're hooking your body weight to it, like I was jumping, I thought I needed to have a spinner here. And I've realized that I really don't. I can have my um, harness line solid without a spinner, as long as I have a spinner on my wing. So I have a spinner there and I have a spinner here. And then the same thing, this just hooks in. Cause really once you kind of get it set, there's not a whole lot of changing. I don't adjust it all that much now that I've gotten used to it. Um, the other thing I know that some people have um, a problem with, and, and here you can see, for instance, if you couldn't find one of these, uh, and most kite shops still have them, I think, but if you can't find one, you can also just hook a line to it and uh, tie it back through. It's actually kind of double wrapped to get it stiff and to stay up like this, it's double wrapped. Um, and then you can see here, you could also uh, sew one on if you wanted. If you have an old one of these off of a windsurfing harness or something, you can just cut it and sew a piece in there. Anything to get that hook, because like I said, this is really the magic, is that ball hooking through and it doesn't matter. Um, the attachment point, as long as you have that, how you have it attached here, um, you could attach it any way. It just has to be centered on your wing. The um, next thing you could do is if you don't have um, a grab handle that's centered, you could hook it to the handle in front and a handle in back and actually create knots across and then hook your little loop on one of those knots until you find the centered spot. You just keep moving it until you find that centered weight spot. And it's the same thing if you have harness attachment points on your wing, you could just do that same thing. Like I said, the biggest thing is just to make sure that it's centered. This little buckle here, I suggest, um, since it's going to be carrying your weight and if it breaks, your wing is free because remember it is your safety line <laughs> so um it can it can break from this point up and it's perfectly okay but what you don't want is your safety line any of that that piece there to break i had a bunch of these in plastic left over from back in kite days when i um, did a lot of making my own d power straps but i found this one and uh here's the part number and it's stainless and it's pretty heavy duty. You can tell it's solid through here. And you can actually um, go without the swivel if you want to and just hook directly here and there and pretend this is your bungee line. And then you just go up and what you have to have at some point is a swivel. And you could just put one of these little swivels because it's not holding your body weight. It just has to spin the wing. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the real key to um, making the lazy winger. And that's uh, pretty much the trick to it. I'm sure there's lots of other ways that it can be done. And uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and your pictures of how you do it. Thanks. And uh, I hope you enjoy the lazy winger. So thanks Daniel for the innovation and the detailed explanation. So I gave it a go making my own lazy winger as well. And since I don't jump under a wing, I was able to just use this simple fly surfer Velcro strap as a belt and then just attach a carabiner to it. It's amazing how effortless wing can become, especially when driving up wind. But my favorite part about the lazy winger, at least from a traditional harness, is being able to stay hooked in during the jibe. 
So I hope some of you out there find some benefit from Daniel's invention. And if you need a place to go for all of your wind and water sports needs, then please check out Green Hat Kiteboarding. And even though you can't buy the Lazy Winger in stores, Green Hat has been a loyal and generous sponsor of this channel. And any support of them, well, it's much appreciated. Subscribe if you get a chance, and I would like to see your comments on your experience with creating your very own Lazy Winger. And we'll see you next time on the OK Kite Border.